So I'm back from 24 hour fitness. Uh, first official triathlon workout in the books. Went to 24 hour fitness on my cheapo free three day pass. Uh, swam from nine to nine thirty. Uh, took a shower and then just been class from 10 to 11. I had a lot of fun. Uh, swimming was tough. It was really tough. Uh, I thought I would just hop in and feel okay. And not that I feel like I knew I could, thought I could swim a mile, but you know, I really struggled to swim the length of a 25 meter pool. So, um, you know, that was a bit of a wake up call, but I hung in there. I definitely had some thoughts of like, yo, what the hell did I sign up for? I'm signed up for three triathlons and I can barely swim. So, you know, definitely had a come to Jesus moment, <laughs> but you know, that's kind of what I need because I, I didn't quit. I feel like if I was just swimming for the hell of swimming, I probably would have. But the fact that I've already signed my name on a dotted line to be in three triathlons, well, two officially, but I'm pretty sure I'm 100% sure I'm going to sign up for a third one, just not which one yet. Um, might do the one with the NTP program in Williamsburg in June, but there's also one nearby um, in June as well. And I was thinking of doing a sprint just to kind of work on the transitions. Part of me just wants to hold off on doing my first Olympic with my brother and my boy Jay. So... I may just do the sprint, um, but this training program is designed for an Olympic. We'll see, but I probably will just hold off on doing the first Olympic, but I'll decide on that later. But um, definitely was a challenge. The swim was a challenge. Make no bones about it. I was flailing away. I'm sure I sounded like a train wreck. But I wasn't thinking about that while I was swimming, but I know my form was terrible. I was inhaling like somebody who was drowning and then I was blowing bubbles out on the water like few kinks to work out just 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 a few I, I don't think Michael Phelps is losing any sleep over my swim strength so um a lot of work to do there but it was a lot of fun our spin class was a lot of fun he played all 90s R&B and hip-hop forgot how much I love that track with Beanie Man that Beanie Man of that girl them sugar that girl them they they snake all y'all you know that joint with my that that's my joint I gotta go pull that off for uh, Apple Music but a lot of fun um, but first swim workout is in the books first spin class is in the books I'm gonna show you the details right here on my watch um so 425 meters so it's a 25 yards what um so what's that i did 17 lengths in 30 minutes and then spin class 800 calories so you know pretty vigorous workout uh, i was wondering how my legs would feel because i remember when i did do spin class a few years ago my legs felt like jelly at um la fitness in connecticut like i barely could walk out of the place but all the running all the endurance training I do I, I see my legs in a much better place so I feel confident I'm going to go for 10 tomorrow morning but I'll see how I feel I don't want to over talk I'm not doing less than eight but all in all I feel pretty good I definitely do not feel like I did that time I walked out of LA Fitness in Norwalk where I, my legs I just I mean I felt like I wanted to dissect them I was in so much damn pain um but, you know, all in all, great experience. Had a lot of fun. I, I cannot stress that enough. I had a lot of fun this morning. Um, and I think this really just embodies why I signed up for these races. Because, quite honestly, you know, had I not committed to something that's scaring the bejesus out of me, uh, I don't know that I would have got up and worked out today. You know, my boy Ian, he will get up six days a week, go to the gym for 90 minutes, lift hard, kill himself, with no reason other than that's just, you know, he knows he needs to stay fit. Um, and I just, I was not blessed with that kind of dedication. Uh, the only time in my life I've really, the only times in my life where I've really been fit was for basketball. From the early 90s to the early 2000s, I was playing six days a week, uh, playing really competitively. Um, you know, I just, I, I, I ate like crap. I eat KFC, pizza, whatever, but... Uh, my level of activity, I mean, I was playing three, four hours a day. And in the summertime, I mean, my routine, I would get up, go to the track, run two and a half miles. Then I'd go to the court, work out for two hours, come home, have lunch, take a nap for a couple hours. And I'd go play ball. I'd be back out there at 3.30 and play until like 7 when the last people left. And I did that five days a week. And I'd go out and play Sunday afternoon too. So it's like, 
you know, my level of activity was just insane. But outside of that, and, you know, back in 2012, 2013, when I started playing again, and I played in the Winter Kingdom, and, and I looked at the Avalon and was playing four or five days a week with the guys there, it's just like I've never been the type to just program myself to go work out consistently. I mean, over a long period of time, it's been plenty of times where I live for a month, maybe even a quarter, but that's probably the most and then start to fall off. It's just something I've never been able to do. So, you know, here I am five months out and I'm worried about that swim. I have committed to swimming a mile in the Hudson River and then I got to swim across a lake in August at the Northeast Triathlon. Like these things are scary to me. And, you know, walking out of the pool today, I felt great. I was like, all right, I got to the point where I could swim 25 meters straight. And I walked past a sign that said 25 meters equals whatever point feet. One mile equals 72 lengths. So I got one down, 71 to go in the next five months. But you best believe this Bronx site is going to get there. So first day, had a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. I'm going to commit to running Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the morning. I'm going to swim one day in the evening for an hour. And then Saturday morning, I'm going to swim for an hour, probably 8.30 to 9.30, shower, and then go to spin class from 10 to 11 and do my long runs on Sunday. So, you know, that'll be my routine for the next month, month and a half. And when it starts to warm up, and I get my bike, I'll have to reconfigure how I do things. And, and when the NTP starts, um, I'm sure I'll start going to some stuff with them. But, you know, that'll be my schedule at least for the rest of February into mid-March when I probably will get my bike. All right, signing off.